Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and we are continuing Legacy Challenge today. I'm so excited to get back into this. I have missed this family so much. I miss this family as if they were my own family. <laughs> and that's like saying something for sure. I know I have a lot of other series going on on my channel right now, but I do want to implicate some variety. And that is why there are so many different Let's Plays. And I'm really sorry, because I know that this is your guys' favorite LP. But anyway, let me give you guys a little refresher from what happened in the last episode. I wanted you guys to choose if Olive should have a baby with Fallon or if she ha should have a baby with Patchy. And a lot of you guys were against the Patchy idea because you think that if Patchy should be with anyone, it should be with Ren. And I do get that. And uh, a lot of you guys seem to like Fallon because of the unflirty and paranoid traits that he has. It seems to go really well. And I think like when they first met, their relationship bar went all the way up, which uh, doesn't always happen. So that's a good sign. Alice aged up into a child, which is very exciting. One of you guys said you can't wait to see Ren and Alice swing together on the swings. So that's definitely something that we're going to do in this episode for sure. So yeah, just a little recap. Let's get into this episode. I don't want to chat too much, but I just wanted to say I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for 17,000. We hit that a few days ago and we are this close to 18,000 like a couple days a thousand of you guys decided to join and that's just it blows my mind so much and i'm just so thankful <laughs> anyway let's get into this episode i am so excited okay guys here we are back on our lovely and lush lot <laughs> i'm so happy to be back i missed it so much um, on my last video, one of you guys asked if I can give you a rundown of the family tree and I would absolutely love to do that because I know it can get confusing. So I actually made a family tree on the plumtreeapp.com, which is a, uh, just a website where you can make family trees about your sims. Uh, so yeah, here's the family tree. Actually, let me turn this on. I still need a picture of Carlos and I still need a picture of Zach. So I'm gonna be doing that at some point today, but yeah, this is <laughs> basically it. So the founders are obviously me and Carlos. Um, if you click, it shows a good uh, description and the traits and the aspirations and all that good stuff, which I think is really, really cool. So I don't know, I, I probably, should I read them to you guys? <laughs> Uh, deceased, the founder, she loved to paint, create vlogs. When she wasn't taking care of Max and Ren, she played guitar and had a lovely relationship with Carlos. Her garden still flourishes to support her family and other generations to come. And then our primary spouse was Carlos, deceased. Um, most silly and caring Sim did a great job raising his kids and training Simba. He loved playing with his dog and loved playing guitar. Here's are his traits and his aspiration. And then Carlos and I had two kids. We had Max who was the second heir, very flirty, romantic, loved to be the center of attention, loved to be in the presence of females. He was very charismatic, um, so he could talk to anyone. He could talk anyone into doing anything. Pulling pranks and being mischievous was his thing. Very responsible and had great manners. He liked to cook and eat good food. He also had a bad habit of stealing things, especially tablets from his job. Uh, so yeah, and it shows the biological parents, the traits, aspiration, like I said before. Uh, our other kid was Ren, who is still alive. You guys know her. Uh, very sweet, quiet, but once you get to know her, she's talkative and outgoing. Good vampire, turned by Lilith, loves her family more than anything. Can't wait to tell the stories of the family's legacy to the generations to come. Looking after the garden, pipe organ, dancing around the house, and becoming a super sim. And then we had our baby dog, Simba. Uh... Max got together with Zara. She was a master programmer and gamer. They met at a very young age, started dating when they were teens. She played hard to get because she could see that Max was a player, but they fell in love after all and had three beautiful children. And even though she cared for them, she had three beautiful children. Even though she cared for them, being a mother didn't suit her. She passed away at an early age from cancer. Um, so their kids are Oliver. A serial romantic but found the love of his life early on and decided to get married. They adopted a daughter and they live happily in the, sil in the city. Um, and then Zach, a childhood friend of Olive and Oliver, quiet and mysterious. 
And then Olive, the third heir, stylish and bold with fashion choices, which led her to joining the stylist career. She's caring, loving, and outgoing, and had a troubled childhood trying to fit in by drinking, doing drugs, which you guys remember, which ended up in a teen pregnancy. It forced her to grow up quicker than her peers, but she cares so much about her son and family. She has been single for quite some time because she walked in on Orange with one of her good friends, which resulted in major trust issues and paranoia. She also loves a good conspiracy theory. <laughs> um, let's see what else there is. Oh, Max Jr. So this is Max's, uh, is it called a love child? I can't remember, but he was the product of a drunken hookup. After the death of Silas, Max and April were comforting each other. One thing led to another and Max Jr. came. He loves aliens and had his dad abducted after he ran a background check on him behind his back. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so this is Max and April's kid. And then Max and um, Zara had Nugget. And then Zara had a kid with someone else as well, who's Dorian. Um, this was the product of her and Alexander Goth um, hooked up on, uh, was it Christmas? It was either Christmas or Thanksgiving, but they had both been broken up with and... Um, yeah, they hooked up and had Dorian, and I'm going to move Dorian in with Zach and uh, Oliver, because Alexander finally died, so he has no parents left. And his, um, his aspiration, the game gave him the city native aspiration, which I thought was pretty perfect because they live in the city, so he's probably like, man, I really love the city, I want to get to know it, so can I move in with you guys? So yeah, we're going to move him in there. Um, okay, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? This is Oliver and Zach's adopted daughter, uh, Kyla Kellen Campos. Oh yeah, I gave them all um, middle names. So Max's middle name, oh, he doesn't have one, that's fine. Zara's is May, Ren's is Paisley, Ren Paisley Campos, I love that. Um, Oliver Carter Campos, Zach doesn't have one. Max Campos Carrillo. Um, Olive Penelope Cam Campos. That's such a cute name. I'm obsessed with it. And then Dorian Wiles Goth. Um, and then Kyla Kellen Campos. And then what else is going on here? Uh, okay, so Ren had Alice, obviously. This is her and Caleb's baby. She doesn't have a bio yet because we don't really know that much about her. But her middle name is Blair. So Alice Blair Campos Vitor. Is it Vittore or Vito Vitor? Vittore? If it was Vittore, wouldn't it have like a little accent thing? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I am absolutely obsessed with that name as well. It's very memorable. And then Olive had a kid with Orange Bailey Moon, Charlie. His middle name is Ray. That's my middle name, but with a Y. And it's also my grandpa's middle name. So there's that. Um, he's the third heir, a lazy but extremely smart boy, plans on living off the family's money for as long as he can. He and his best friend Kingston are famous on TikTok, so you can catch him streaming everything in his life with his drone. He can't wait to have a big family with lots and lots of kids. He also has an intense love for a wagon with flowers on it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there's that. And then Olive's dog was Moose, and he died already. We need to get Charlie a dog. I keep forgetting, so we'll probably do that in this episode. But yeah, it's a very small family tree. Um, with all of the drama that has happened, you'd think that there would be more. It would be bigger, but no, it's not. It's quite small. <laughs> so yeah, there you guys go. I hope you guys aren't confused anymore. Um, I will link the family tree, uh, in the description if you want to check it out and read their bios on your own time, I will link it for you. Oh, <sighs> I'm out of breath now. And everyone is sad because Alexander passed away. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then, what else? What else, what else, what else? Oh, right, in the last episode, we asked Stella to be our girlfriend. I'm pretty sure she's going to be the one that Charlie builds a family with. Um, he is like desperate to have a family, to have kids of his own. So, I mean, it's only, 
normal for him to like go after the first girl that he's ever loved, his high school sweetheart. So they're going to get married. I have decided that there is no turning back. <laughs> and yeah, here is Miss Alice in her her childhood uh, form. She's so cute, and I love her room. It's a bi a vibe. It's a vibe for sure. Uh, what happened here? There we go. Okay, so one thing that I would really like to do is, what are you doing? Oh my huh? God, you're freaking sizzling. Oh, but it's not really um, hurting you that much because, <gasps> because you have your, oh, do you? Do you have the sunlight perk yet? Oh yeah, you do. You have it two out of three. Well, that's great. That's great, that's great. But you should still come inside anyway. Come and take a shower. Oh. What? Why can't you? There we go. Okay, so I wanted to... Charlie, can you um, stream, please? Just keep streaming forever. I wish there was a way that you could just automatically do it. But for Ren, uh, her club, I kind of want to edit it a little bit. I want to get rid of her. Her... I guess Kengo can stay. Actually, nah, I don't want him to stay. I want this to be a vampire club. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Lilith as well. Um, should we add Caleb? There's really no harm in them still being friends. I don't see any more vampires, so that's good. Uh, can we do a like vampire requirement? <laughs> Hmm, I guess not. It kind of sucks that there's like no vampire thingies in uh, club activities. <sighs> All right, let's call this the vampire club. Very original, am I right? Okay, so now Ren can like summon her vampire friends whenever she wants so that they can build their uh, their vampire skill. Okay, Miss Olive. So, what are your traits again? I completely forgot already. It's been so long. Child of the ocean. We're supposed to go on vacation. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. It's a Monday. People have work. Shoot. You know what? Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. So how do we do this? Take a vacation. I want to invite, okay, Alice, Ren, Charlie. Uh, let's invite Fallon. Perhaps we can um, build their relationship while we're there. Uh, let's invite Zach. Let's invite Oliver. We're just gonna have like a big family vacation. Um, should we invite Orange? I feel like that would be really risky. Yeah, let's not do that because he's a jealous sim and if we're inviting Fallon, it's probably not a good idea. Let's invite Max Jr. Let's invite Dorian. Oh no, we're out of people. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't invite Fallon then. Let's just make this like a family thing. I think we got everybody. Okay. Maybe they can, um, Olive will meet someone on vacation. Maybe, maybe Ren will. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hell yeah, I'm really excited. I don't think I've done this before. No, I've been to Salvadorada before, but I don't think I've like actually taken a family on a vacation. I hope there's a house big enough for all of us. Selva Dorada. Did I say Sulani? Two bedrooms, eight bedrooms. That's probably the one we're gonna have to do. Three, one. I haven't explored this at all. Alright, eight bedrooms. 
Let's do it for... Hmm... Let's do two days. Okay, here we go! Off on a vacay! <laughs> I totally forgot I said we were gonna do that this episode. We probably should have went to Solani, actually, so that they can go to go in the ocean, but it wasn't even an option. It was Granite Falls or this one. Hi, everybody! Welcome to the jungle, Ren. Some handy adventure items have been added to your inventory as part of your rental package. If you plan on exploring the Belomicia jungle, you should first stop by Puerto Lama Yamante Marketplace and pick up more gear. Huh. I don't know if any of these sims would be adventurous enough to like go explore in the jungle, but... Alright, looks like Ren's lighting the fireplace. Cute. Charlie's over here, grilling. What's he grilling? What are you making? Breakfast scramble. Okay, yeah, it is 8 a.m. Why don't you go ahead and call to meal? What are you making? A grilled cheese, that's fine. And then Oliver and Oliver just here chatting. Uh-oh. Buggies. Oh, is everyone gonna sit out here? That's cute. That is so cute. Olive, do you have anything that's like not a dress like that? Because you're in the jungle. <laughs> Maybe we should give you a jungle outfit. All of your outfits are so um, fancy. This one looks good. There you go. So, look how beautiful. What is this over here? Clear path with hands. Sims with higher gardening skill clear faster and are less likely to hurt their hands. Maybe we should take Ren exploring. Wait, isn't there things that we can get for the challenge? Hmm. But it's too sunny for Ren right now. Maybe we should go exploring at night. Look at all these beds. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I thought it was actually gonna be eight bedrooms, not just eight beds laid out like that. <laughs> How was the meal, everyone? Thank you so much for cleaning up, Dorian. You're such a sweetie. Let's see if there's anything around that we can harvest. Ooh, plantains. I'm pretty sure we already have plantains. Uh, How do we view the collections again? Ah, here we go. Here we go, gardening. Oh, it doesn't tell us. Oh, here we go. I don't know what this is, but that's something that we can get here. This as well, that, that, that. Oh my gosh, there's so many plants here. Okay, hmm. So now that we're all settled, let's go and travel to a different lot and see if there's something that we can do. Uh, what is this? National Park. We could probably definitely find some plants there. So let's head there. Let's just bring... Wait, where is everybody? Oh, I'm traveling with Alice and she doesn't know everyone. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oh my... What the? <laughs> A helicopter? All right, we're here at the National Park. Ren, are you sizzling? You are. Hmm. If you sit over here, will you be okay? Because it's in the shade. Shoot, you're still sizzling. Okay, um. I'm just gonna send you back to the lodging then. Olive, why are you in this outfit again? Oh my god, these three- Oh my gosh, you guys, you're on vacation. Put your freaking phones away. Look, look at how interested she is in this, um, whatever this is. Huh. Maybe she'd be interested in, like, the Selva Dorada culture and archaeology and jungle exploring and stuff like that. Maybe this vacation kind of, like, sparked her interest in it, perhaps? I think that would be pretty cool. Huh, all right. Well, we can uh, we can vibe off that for a second. Can I like give you a better outfit? 
Is this your <laughs> yes, hot weather? Is that why you keep warm. putting it on? It is. Okay, let's give you let's give you something else. Something cute. Something um something oh. outdoorsy. Okay, this is better. A lot better. Okay, let's have a look around and see if there's any plants that we can harvest. That's the main reason why we're here. Why'd the repairman come? <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I don't see anything, which is really unfortunate. What is the point of coming here? Hey, look who decided to live here. Bob Pancakes and Eliza Pancakes. They decided to uproot their lives and come live in Selva Dorada. Oh my god, look who else lives here. No way! I swear I did not put him here. But that's actually really funny. Let's check out the museum. I don't think I've ever checked that out before. All right, museum time. Is there anything that we can do here? View collection. You too, love. Come and view this. I bought all of a camera. I want her to take pictures. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Hopefully I can remember to have her take pictures. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, he gives me Max vibes sometimes. Like, look at that. How cocky can you get? She's so cute. Aww, what an angel! Oh, that's definitely a vacation pick if I ever saw one. Now my game's like lagging big time. Let's see if there's anything around. What's this? Excavate? Huh. Olive, why don't you come and do that? Oh my god, my game. It's lagging so hard. Oh, look at that! That is so bad! Alright, let's see what else is around here. I need crops. I'm thinking that we're probably gonna have to explore the jungle to get all of the special plants that are available in Selva Dorada, which sucks. Cause like... Ugh... There's a risk of dying, so. What did you get? One Watcher Relic Base. What the heck is that? Are you seriously doing your homework? You are so cute. Where did you get that doll? Who gave you that doll? That looks like something from here. It is. Did you just take that from the museum? Oh girl, I hope we don't get in trouble for that. An unauthenticated vase. Nice. Okay, so it is nighttime now, so maybe just. What's this? Ooh, black beans! Oh! I'm gonna bring Ren here. Since the. Uh, since it's uh, not sunny anymore. It's so pretty here. I'm loving it. Oh, look at how cute this is! This would be such a good spot for Charlie and Stella to get engaged. I actually think one of you guys said that. That's such a good idea! I think that would be cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the family over here to this bar. Just so that they have stuff- something to do. I can't believe you don't have your drone. This would- this is like a perfect time to stream. A freaking influencer vacay. Wait, they don't even have their first kiss? I swear they did. Look, you guys, a stray! Aww. Hi, baby! What's your name? Fei Fei. Should we adopt Fei Fei? Aww, you poor baby, poor stray. Let's see if you're nice. Hello? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at that- look at that negative bar already! I really want to go on vacation, uh -oh. 
Ren, we're on vacation. What the heck are you talking about? Couch potato. Well, that's cute. What are your other traits? <laughs> playful? That's cute. Wait, how can we get couch potato and playful at the same time? Why are you going away? We're trying to adopt you! <laughs> There's way too much going on. Where the heck is Stella at? There she is. Um, let's form a group with her. Okay, and then let's head on over here. All right, I finally got them here. Let's get them to have their first kiss, even though I already thought that they did. Olive, go away! Oh my god, I missed it. I missed it! Oh! Cute! I love them, you guys are so sweet! Hey, no, you cannot leave! We're not done! <laughs> Alright, can we propose to her yet? We can! <gasps> Alright, here we go. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Olive, no! You're making me miss it! You're all smelly! Oh my god, I hate you. I hate you so much. Wow, that was not as cute as I was hoping. Frickin' stinky Olive had to ruin it. Uh, okay, well, at least they are all engaged now, and we did it at the spot that we wanted to. Let's head, let's get everyone to go home, because they're all miserable. Okay, everyone, go, go, go. Take care of your needs. Do what you gotta do. I'm gonna take Charlie to the marketplace because he seems to be in the, be the best mood out of everybody. I wanna see if there's some stuff that we can buy at that little hut that would benefit our collection. Um, this one right here. Let me just see what we can buy. Order food. Okay, so we can just learn recipes. Mmm! Yum! I'm gonna get him to order some of those. Those are so good. I really want to explore the jungle with Ren, but there's a heat wave, so <laughs> it's not like uh, that can happen, but let's just um, form a group with everybody um, and we can make some drinks since we're on uh, a vacation. Let's all have... Let's all have fizzy fruity drinks. And then Miss Alice can have... Hmm, what do you want to make for Alice? Let's make her... Oh, we can't make one for her? Let's make her a cream cola. Cute. That's adorable. All right, everyone has their drinks. They're chilling, listening to music. Ren, what the heck, dude? Oh, and a souk, and a souk. Go inside, idiot. What is wrong with you? Why are you so sick? Oh my god, you have a bladder infection and you're sad drunk. You peed yourself. Oh lordy, lordy, lordy. Um. Jeez. Is there anything we can do for you? I, I want you to take pictures. She doesn't look happy at all. Why are you outside again? 
Oh my god. It seems like everyone's getting sick. Zach doesn't feel good, neither does Olive. I'm not really sure why. Okay, so since it's nighttime, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and take Ren exploring and see what happens. Oh my god! Did you guys see that? Did he try and like make a move on Zach? Oh, Olive, honey. Girl, what are you doing? Go home. I swear he tried to embrace him just now. Where the heck is Oliver? Huh. Very interesting. You have a machete? Where the heck did you get a machete from? I'm not even gonna ask. Examine odd egg. She, she has so many high skills. I think I think this might be good Interstellar creature a gentle creature is born and Ren takes it home. Oh You just have an alien in your inventory now. Oh, we're in a different spot now, aren't we? Oh Oh cool 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 cool. Okay, wait Ooh. Wait, what are you doing over here? Oh my god, please don't die. Oh god, go over there and extinguish him, please. Can Send home. Go home, please. No, you do not. Mm -mm. You do not belong out here. I'm gonna send you home, too, actually. Ooh, a treasure chest. Oh my god, oh my god. I've never done this before, so this is very uh, fun and interesting. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hold up! Ren found some wondrous items in the treasure chest and the Omiskin gods have bestowed a blessing upon her. She- Wait, what? She took an artifact and some adventure gear and put them in her inventory. She should be careful with meals. It doesn't look like there's a stomach to catch food. Becoming a skeleton? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well... This is interesting. I can't believe Ren's a skeleton. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my god, the sun's gonna come up soon. No! Oh god, oh god, oh god. What's going on? Uh-oh. She's getting attacked by spiders. Oh god. I am so sorry. What is a tree of emotions? View. <gasps> okay. She harvested whatever it is and now she's viewing the tree. Interesting. Let's take a cutting. Ooh, avocados! Nice! Harvest those. What are these? Black beans, we got that. Plantains, we've had that. All right, well, I think it's time to end the vacation. Okay, well, Olive kept getting attacked by spiders. She wouldn't stay in the lodging area, and there was just, Ren started sizzling in the sun, so we couldn't explore anymore. She's still a skeleton, though. <laughs> With her rings on still. Okay, wow, it is really hot. And really bright on this lot. Okay. What is this? Feeling the falls from de being near scenic waterfall. All right. Oh, she's not a skeleton anymore. Thank goodness. What's wrong? Sweltering. The thermostat said to warmer. I'm gonna get Olive to ask Fallon on a date and just see how that goes. Uh, ask on date. Let's try out this cafe, Eden Cafe and Bistro. Why not? Let's have a look at him and create a sim as well. Okay, so I found this sim on the gallery. Um, it was under just some random hashtag. I don't even know. I was just trying to fill the town up with uh, different sims. He's definitely not bad looking. Maybe we could give him a new hair and he definitely needs lashes. So let's do that first. There we go. 
Oh, we're in hot weather. I like the long hair on him. He's giving me um, Asian descent vibes. I don't know if you guys get that too, but I like it. I like him because he's unique looking. Like with his facial hair, his brows, his eyes. I don't know, I really like him. I think he looks a lot better with longer hair. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired. I've been filming for four and a half hours now. <laughs> it really puts a strain on my eyeballs. Alrighty, where is he? Where did he go? Wait, why are you in... There you go. All better. What are you gonna order? Are you ordering something? Wait for barista. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna get her to order a macchiato. Why not? Who's famous here? Is it her? Just a notable newcomer, really? She got herself a cannoli. It's asking about his day. Oh my god, they're both paranoid, so they're both just sitting here super awkwardly. This is so cute. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Look at how well they get along! My heart! Where are you going with that? Where are you guys going? She's so cute. Oops. That's a mood right there. That's my kind of date. That looks so fun. A coffee and a cannoli and a cute little cafe. Coffee, cannoli, cafe. The three C's of a good date. Ooh, what'd you get? Is that cheesecake? Or is that a scone? Or what is that? A scone. Ew, look who's here! <gasps> Ew, his dad's here too. Oh my god, awkward. Can you not cause a scene? Oh my god, of course. <sighs> let's go sit outside, Fallon. Come on, let's go. Bring your coffee, love. You bring your scone. Oh, so obnoxious. Trying to ruin my day. Oh my god, are you professing your undying love to him? That's so sweet. You're not letting orange bother you at all, are you? That's my girl. What's this? Oh my gosh, she has baby fever. You guys. That is so sad. Okay, no more. No more. No more. Yay, we got a legendary date. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, Olive's too sad for them to have their first kiss. Oh, that makes me sad. Let's give him a gift, though. What can we give him? What's something that he would like? <sighs> Maybe a tulip? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> I think he liked it. No, he didn't like it? Oh, God. Oh, he's like... Ew, this is gross. Just kidding, look what I got you. <laughs> well, that went really well. But she's just too sad. She's sad from unappreciated gift and from losing a friend. I'm pretty sure she's sad about uh, Alexander. That's what everyone else is sad about. Oh, and Billy. Who's that? And the fact that she was on a date with him and then she got baby fever. I mean, come on. That's like saying a lot. So I think that's the guy that she's going to end up with. And I'm completely okay with that. Ren, what are you up to? Oh my god, how cute is this? Offer advice on vampire life. Ren, really? 
You're disgusting. Y'all <laughs> know. <laughs> Tell outrageous story. Oh my word. Cute. I love them so much, you guys don't even understand. Oh, <laughs> So cute. Okay, what skills will we be working on for Ren? Uh, gourmet cooking, five, programming... Okay, well there isn't... Oh my god, girl, no! I guess we're gonna have to firmly express disappointment because calmly didn't work. Look at that cooking skill. Six? His charisma is at six too? And his vampire lore skill. That's awesome. That is so awesome. You're also a geek and you're domestic. Hmm, a lazy geek? I feel like a lazy geek would definitely be good at video games. So let's get him to play some. Ren's just working on her programming skill. Olive is exhausted from her date and from the vacation and from the spider bites. So she's napping or sleeping. What's this bean doing? Chat in a kid's chat room. Okay, that works. So I'm gonna have Ren start a gathering. Um, and then I'm gonna get her to... Look, she rode her bike here. That is so cute. They all rode their bikes here. They're best friends, right? Her and Lilith. Like, we did that. Yeah, we did. Okay. Some of you guys were saying that you wanted um, her and Lilith to get together. But Lilith is Alice's aunt. So, um, yeah. Oh, oh, you need to meet your dad. Right. Uh, okay, so you guys know each other already, I guess, because you have a relationship, but I think that's only because he's your father and it's automatic. Hi, Dad! I do want them to have a good relationship. This one right here, this is Briley. This is a vampire that one of you guys made that uh, Ren met pretty early on in the series. Talk about classes? Uh, sure. But why I started this club is because I wanted oh, Ren to... Um, wait, she can't get trained by Lilith anymore for some reason? This sim is either the same rank or not high enough rank to train Ren. Oh no. So what are we supposed to do then? Here we go, they can spar. Ooh, a rainy fight. She lost. Ren, you could do better than that. Ooh, look at all these things we got from the uh, from the vacation. Oh my god, my brain. A flutterberry, flirt, uh, gut gutsberry, um, confidence. I'm guessing museberry, vimberry. Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> Really, Olive? You're playing horseshoes in a thunderstorm with- what is this you have? Is that a sparkling water? Oh my god. Go get yourself cleaned up. You have uh, work in one hour, so please go. Oh my god, I can't believe she had a drink before work. Oh my god, she's sloppy drunk. Uh, is there a way that we can work from home? Doesn't seem like it. Looks like she's going to work drunk. Hopefully she doesn't get demoted. Look at Briley in here. She just made some eggs and toast and now she's making something else. You're just cooking up a storm in here? Fish tacos? What a nice girl. Will your parents let you play with me? I don't see why not. Wait, you have a friend already? 
Oh, that's awesome. Why don't you make some more friends, actually? All right, let's get Charlie a dog before I forget. He's on a roll with this with these video games, though. All right. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. How do we do this again? Hire a service, right? Some of you guys said that you wanted him to have a small dog, because we haven't had a small dog yet. So let's see what there is. A standard Schnauzer, Bichon Frise, Bull Terrier. Oh, Bull Terrier! I love Bull Terriers, they're adorable. Schnoodle. A Chihuahua? <laughs> Alaskan Malamute, that's like the opposite of a small dog. A German Pointer. Let's get him the Bull Terrier. Herman. Let's give him a friendly introduction and friendly introduction the dog as well. Hopefully the doggy has good traits. Hi, little baby. Hi, Herman. Hey, look who's here. Uh-oh, but she's very tense. Oof. Let's just invite him in. Hello, baby! Hi, little Herman! I love how he's streaming this. Watch me get a new dog! Watch me get a new puppy! Loyal. So he's a sleuth, he's loyal, and what's his last trait? Friendly? He's perfect! Uh, stop. Stop with your purple earrings, you weirdo. Yes, I would love to adopt him. Do we want to keep this name? Or should we name him something that, like, means something to Charlie? Hmm. Since Charlie is a geek, maybe we can name him something kind of nerdy, like... Let's name him Batman. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Thank you for the puppy. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, and now he has a pristine reputation because he streams all of this like good stuff that he does. I think that's so funny. Okay, we need to buy a little dog feeder thing. There we go. Go ahead and fill the bowl and take yourself a shower because you are stinky boy. All right, Olive, you're still tense. Hopefully that food makes you feel better. Then you can get, get some water as well. Where'd Fallon go? Did he leave? No, he's in Ren's house. I think we need to lock this door for everybody except household members as well. She's feeling inspired, so that's good. I think she's feeling better. Let's discuss fashion with him. Tell him tell an engaging story. Cory de los Santos. I don't know who that is. This guy. Oh, right. This is the guy that she met in the restaurant where he turned into an elder right before our eyes. I want to know everything about him before we do anything major. Do we know all of his traits yet? <laughs> we do! And we know his career. You know what? I want him to have a better job. Let's watch a movie together. Let's watch... Uh, Moonlight Massacre 3. Please sit on the same couch. Yay, they're sitting together. Let's dim the lights a bit. Set the mood. Can you guys cuddle? Cuddle while watching movie? Oh my gosh, my heart! Aww. They make such a cute couple, I'm not gonna lie. What? You guys are supposed to be watching the movie. The movie is... That way. But thank you for posing for me. There you go. There you go. He's watching it. 
They're both watching it. There you go, there you go. So cute. They're adorable. Describe robot invasion. Look at the puppy under the freaking couch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, share conspiracy theories. That's perfect. They definitely need to do that. Aww. Well, it's over. Ooh, she has an impression. Ooh, ooh. Come, 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 come. Add impression. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. He got abducted. Oh, I thought he was streaming. Oh, my God. What if he comes back pregnant? You guys, what if he comes back pregnant? Oh, ugh! this is stressful. This is so stressful. That would put a damper on his whole plan of marrying Stella, having kids with her. I'm nervous. What if, oh my God. What if he, what if he, what if he, what if he, what if? I can't believe he caught that on his drone. He should gain like a million subscribers from that. Can he take a pregnancy test? How do you know if he's pregnant or not? Oh gosh, I'm nervous. No, Fallon, don't eat that. No. Yeah, blah, no shit. You idiot. You're not very bright, are you? Wow! Look at you go! Oh, look at you and your freaking lip piercing. Yes, queen. Looks like Alice is finally up. She's having- oh my god, she's eating spoiled food as well. What is wrong with you? Why does everyone eat freaking spoiled food all the time? Ren, can you please make your daughter something to eat? Cook, um... Cook her some almond macaroons. Macarons, macaroons, macarons, whatever. Bye, Fallon. Thank you so much for coming over and watching a movie with us and eating our spoiled food. It was awesome. There you go, Alice. Yay, almond macaroons, my favorite. Thanks, Mom. Mmm. Look at the little flowers on there. <gasps> That's so adorable. Nice, Charlie. That view. He just wanted to nap with his new puppy on the floor. Make him feel welcome. Gross. <laughs> She's so cute. Can you please stop making drinks? Everyone drinks them and then they get sad drunk or sloppy drunk or whatever. Whose birthday is next? Olive's birthday in four days and then Alice's birthday. Okay, so we need to get these skills up. Her aspiration is whiz kids, so she needs to play three games of chess. So I'm gonna get her to work on that. Aww. So cute. Freaking Batman. Why are you here? You wanted to say hi to Charlie? Alright, you guys can have a conversation. That's fine. What's up, Dad? Did you meet my new dog? His name's Batman. Farah. Farah Fires? Who's that? Everyone's dying. Oh no! This is the girl that we met on the island. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize she was so old. Oh, what's this? Wanna come to my birthday party? If you do, make sure you bring some friends with you. Alright, sure, why not? Let's bring Max. Let's bring Kingston, of course. I have no idea what he's wearing, but whatever. Cooper, sure. Let's bring Lucas, Dorian, and Stella. 
this is a good way to end the episode, I think. A little birthday party. I hope I didn't forget anything that I said that I wanted to do. My brain is pretty scrambled. <laughs> I think in the next episode, we can get Charlie and Stella married and we can make it official with, uh, with, what's her name? <gasps> Olive and Fallon. All right. Oh, you guys said that Miss Billy here is actually low key beautiful uh, with a makeover. So let's see. This is a perfect time to uh, see all of the new hairs that I downloaded from Ebonics. Look at this hair, you guys. This is so nice. If I could find more hairs like this, this one is really good too. Um, I'm just like a huge fan of the quality. So I think we're gonna go with that one. And you guys were right, she is absolutely stunning. Yup. She is so pretty. Oh, shoot! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Holy cannoli. Oh my gosh, everybody left! Why did everyone leave? Her party was just starting! Oh, well that's depressing. I guess that's what you get for having a party at a dog park. Everyone left. And she's dazed. I wonder if she had herself a little uh, birthday party package. Who's this? Hayden Ray Williams. Hmm. Let's become friends with her. Um, so that this uh, little, little outing wasn't for nothing. Who? Who has passed away? What is that blank, blank, blank? Oh my gosh, Ali? And this guy? We're good friends with him? Ali died? Uh, there's so much happening, so much death! Oh my god. Being considerate, donated, deep connection, pleasant conversation. Oh, that's great. Do you have anything in your inventory that you can give her as like a birthday gift? Give gift. Oh. Uh, he has nothing. Let's give her a camera. Sure. We have. Okay. She left. Cool. I'm the last one left at someone else's birthday party. All right. We are home. So, I think for the next episode, I think we're gonna make this little house here. I'm going to make it more for Stella and Charlie to live in. And then this one will be for Olive and, uh, Olive and Fallon. And then this house will still be for Ren and Alice. Full. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do that, give the house a little makeover. Um, and then we're gonna have Charlie and Stella's wedding. And then we're gonna do, what else? What else should we do? Just work on skills. That's really all we need to be doing right now. Oh, and then we can work on, um, oh, Olive needs to provide tough feedback to a co-worker. Let's do straight and honest. Yeah, medium performance gain. That's what's up. Um, yeah, we need to work on uh, her making friends as well. She already knows some people. She knows Dylan, Pierre, and J Jaquan. She doesn't know any girls yet. Want to study with the group today. No, I need to end this episode or I'm just going to keep on filming. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think of everything so far. Let me know if uh, you like the idea of Alice being into archaeology and uh, the Salvadorian Salvador culture. <laughs> or if you think we should focus on something else for her. Let me know in the comments. Um, 
Let me know what you think of Olive and Fallon. I personally love them. I think they get along so well. And also let me know if you think that Charlie and Stella should get married on the lot or if we should go somewhere to get married. I'm kind of vibing um, getting married on the lot is probably best just because everything is here and there's less chance that they will get into bad moods and stuff. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I cannot wait for the next one. I'm just so happy with these, this series. It's so much fun. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.